Hello everyone, and welcome to my bold and beautiful official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Poppy apologizes to Bill at his house for holding back the truth for so long. Bill assures her that she has nothing to be sorry for. Her daughter, I hope, our daughter, has always come first for her. Luna also hopes so. Poppy says they can immediately find out. Don Diamond, Romy Park, and Lisa Yamada Katie is asking RJ at Forrester's design office about Poppy's abrupt change of heart, saying Bill might be Luna's father even though she had previously told him he wasn't. RJ questions if she was scared. Lee enters at that moment and inquires as to whether Steffi has been seen. Katie says she would like to talk to her about her sister for a little while. She seems to be asserting that Bill is Luna's father. Lie ogles. She gripes that her sister is an opportunistic manipulator. What are you saying? Inquires Katie. Lee calls Poppy an avaricious person. Lee swears it's true, despite RJ's objections. My sister is a really cunning person. Never put your trust in her, if she believes she's making this up. Katie queries. Lee agrees and promises to see to it that it finishes today. Poppy and Luna are at Bill's. RJ informs her. Hope informs Ridge that his daughter has carried her problems with her too far while they are in the main office, standing next to Brooke. Hope, it's not personal, says Steffi. It's commercial. For a business to succeed, earnings must be generated. According to Brooke, hope for the future is undergoing change. Carter is asked by Steffi to let them know how awful the stats are. According to Carter, they're not good. That's why they had to cross the line. According to Steffi, they are unable to watch this tank. More dependable lines might be purchased with the money. My God, Ridge, are you hearing this? Yells Brooke. You must take action. Thorsten K. McKinswood Jacqueline Carter proposes holding a formal gathering to discuss hope for the future's future. Both Ridge and Steffi concur, and they ask Brooke to pardon them. Brooke is hoping Ridge will take care of this. Maybe that was a mistake, she reflects. I haven't played a significant part in this company for quite some time. You are aware of my feelings. You are aware of my position. She then walks away. Steffi wants to stop wasting time. We must talk about hope for the future's future. Donna walks the Forester estate, sighs, and glances at a picture of herself, her sisters, and hope. When Eric enters, they start joking about martinis. He inquires as to what transpired during his absence. According to Donna, Steffi's threat to axe hope for the future caused hope to become agitated. She is committed to keeping her line. Brooke enters and Donna says she has given Eric an update. According to Brooke, they are currently meeting to discuss it. Donna finds out that before Ridge could say anything, Steffi begged her to go. She has no idea what the brunette is thinking, but if she believes she can end the call without putting up a fight, she is about to have an unpleasant shock. Eric is shocked that Steffi wants to quit even though he is aware that the numbers haven't been up to par. Donna continues by saying that Brooke has made more contributions to the business than Steffi has ever had. Brooke is thinking about Hope because she gave her line her all. And now, Steffi want to murder it. It's simply incorrect. Bill expresses to Luna at his house how much he hopes the paternity test establishes that she is his daughter. Luna gives Poppy a smile. Steffi tells Hope at Forrester that she's taking this personally. The company's legacy and best interests are at stake here. However, I shouldn't anticipate anything less from a hope surmises that she was going to respond, Logan, and asks Carter to tell Steffi how successful Brooke's formula and bedroom line are even now. Hope bemoans the lack of consideration she gives her family. Forrester is the extremely successful company that it is today because of our influence. She queries Ridge about whether it seems like someone with a personal grudge against her and her family or someone who is showing good leadership. Hope thinks that her mother has given so much. What has Steffi accomplished? Ridge believes that every one of them needs to step back. According to Carter, 
they must decide on the line in an objective manner. Hope finds it hard to believe that Steffi can see past the achievements she and her mother have made for the business. Bill is reassured by Luna that there are no expectations or duties if he is her father. If the test confirms that he is her father, Bill reassures her that there is nothing he wouldn't do or offer her. That makes me one extremely fortunate man. Okay, let's do it. Luna grinned. Lee enters at that precise moment and says, Hold it right there. I am aware of your activities. Naomi Matsuda and Romy Park Lai was made aware of Poppy's assertion that Bill is Luna's father. Poppy claims that she mentioned the potential and that Liz shouldn't be concerned about it. Lay maintains that Kelly's grandfather is Bill and that she is fiercely devoted to Finn's family. Poppy assures Finn and his family that she poses no harm. Sniffing, Lai says, Tell me, why did you wait so long to tell Bill about Luna? You probably already know why. Yes, he's your mo rich, attractive, and wealthy. Bill doesn't know what her sister is capable of, she informs him. Poppy informs her that she is completely ignorant about the subject at hand. Lai responds, maybe not, but she'll supervise the paternity test. A certified expert will undoubtedly provide you all with peace of mind. Don't we want to ensure that the outcomes are accurate? Hope can't lose her line? She just can't, Donna says Brooke at the Forrester estate. Eric has long been satisfied with Steffi's role as co-CEO, but he reassures Brooke that safeguards are in place. Ridge must consent to anything she wants to do. In an apparent personal jab at Steffi's daughter, Brooke declares that he will not allow Steffi to destroy Hope for the future. John McCook, Jennifer Garice, and Catherine Kelly Lang Steffi tells her father it's business at Forrester. He's aware of that. You're right, he responds to his kid. I'm sorry, Hope for the future isn't performing well, he adds, turning to face Hope. To their amazement, he continues, but I think it's premature to pull the plug because I believe in you and the team you've put together. He yields to Carter, who says they'll wait for the results of the next quarter before making another assessment. Ridge informs Steffi and Hope that they and Thomas represent the company's future. Work this out. After Ridge and Carter go, Hope informs Steffi that this was a personal matter. She was mistaken when she believed they could collaborate. She has persisted in demonizing her family and attacking her. Go ahead and act as though my family hasn't played a significant role in this company's current level of success. However, we will disprove your assertions. Lawrence St. Victor, Thorsten K., and Annika Noel R.J. tells Katie in the design office that he just doesn't think Poppy is some gold digger trying to con Bill. Katie expresses gratitude that Lee is there to stop her if she tries to pull a fast one. Lee informs Poppy at Bill's house that her test would be used in its stead. It's secured. Poppy limits that she's interfering with their private time together. Lai wants to make sure that the right information reaches Bill and Luna. I know your sister is coming on a bit strong. Bill interjects. She's being disrespectful, scoffs Poppy. Bill goes on to add that she is a medical professional. Poppy informs her sister that Luna is the focus of this, not her. Lee's role is to maintain the integrity of the information. Gritted Poppy, how could you? You have no right to imply that I would act in such a cunning and dishonest manner. Because I know you, Poppy, Lee chuckles. She believes there is absolutely no possibility that Bill is Luna's father. I'm taking the test for that reason. Poppy cries for her sister to leave right away and refuses. No, responds Bill. Surely they have nothing to conceal. Luna is only interested in finding out if Bill is her father. She doesn't care who administers the test. Well, then I'll administer the test, responds Lai. She assures Bill that they will find out soon if he is Luna's father. Or if you're lying, she says, turning to face Poppy. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.